I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the 2024 National Mahjong League card. I call this exercise Charleston Force. The reason for that is because we're going to pre-select categories from the National Mahjong League card and play only hands in those pre-selected categories. This is a great skill to build if you ever want to play in a special event where they pre-select categories because the first person to win a hand in one of those categories will win a prize. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We are going to force hands in odds, wins and dragons, and quints. We're going to alternate between dealer and non-dealer. So we'll get 14 tiles, then 13, and then 14. And I'll create a mock Charleston with no jokers for each one. We have jokers, flowers, two, north, white dragon, two, three, seven in dots, three, four, eight in cracks, and a one bam. Since we have these jokers, I would force a quint, leverage these, and there's only one quint, no, two quints that use flowers, so... We have a dragon, we might be able to use that with these, or maybe this, because it has to be an offsuit. So I would start by discarding those. So let's do north seven two. We got a flower and a dragon. We might be able to use that. So really, cracks can be used with both. So let's pass these three. Okay, we got a five, three, four, five flowers. Maybe we could play the first hand. Since we have three flowers, I think I would be more inclined to play the quint So let's let the, let's let the four go. No, let's let the three go. Okay, here we go. No keepers. All right. Let's see. Four bam dots. Bam stops. Cracks can be used with either. Let's keep it going. Oh man, we're missing it just a little bit. One, two, four, five, eight, three, bam. Okay, so let's see here. Let's let the eight go with a one. Oh, the three. Shoot. Okay, so now three six nine. This is gonna be a little bit risky. Three six nine. Maybe keep that and let that go. I think no matter how we slice this, it's gonna be risky. We'll try that. Oh shoot! The three came back. And now we have nines. 
Okay, so I think what I would do here. Hmm. Oh, maybe give up on one of these. Let's let's pass two. Just two. Oh, no keepers. Okay, well, we've got lots of jokers here. And we actually have two options. The flower hand with a quint or the pair. Three, four, five pair. Or the quint with a dragon and then one of these. So, quint, maybe. So now we need to force odds and wins and dragons. We have a joker, flower, dragon, north, south, three, four, five, eight, nine in cracks, three dot and a six man pair. So which one of these would you force? Since we have a pair of sixes, I would probably force winds and dragons. Maybe we can do north and south with five, six. Maybe we could keep the dragon since we're playing winds and dragons. So let's see, we've got two threes. So I would probably break those out and maybe pass, let's see, three, four, nine. So we have a red dragon. So there is a dragon news hand that we might be able to do. North, south, five, six, or news with dragons. We got a north, here's a six, and another dragon. So dragons, five, six, eight. Let's see, north and south with five, six. Hmm. So this maybe can go we're kind of in between. So let's see here. I think I'd go for the hand of least resistance, north, south, five, six. So let's let this dragon go. And then we get a flower. Oh, but look, oh my gosh, we got, we did get the flower, but look, six and a five. Oh, oh. So now here's the problem. Right across left, we're on, we're at that place where you can stop the Charleston and look at what we have. I would stop the Charleston. We're one away from set. We can Pung, Kong, either Pung or Kong here. And 
in the, so I would stop the Charleston because we have flowers and dragons. So I would stop. And that would mean we would do an optional across, but I would not pass that. I would ask for one. I would ask for one and any savvy opponent would decline. So we're just not going to pass any. So this is what we're left with. North and south with five, six. Winds and dragons. We have joker bait, two. Flowers do not make good joker bait. So I would probably discard those first. See what happens with dragons. These might get us a joker if we pay attention. You can learn more about joker bait if you look in the video description below. There'll be a link. So we have Winds and Dragons. So now we have to force odds. Flower, pair of dragons, northeast, south, two, six, seven, eight in bams, one, four, nine in dots, and a seven crack. We have to force odds. So we're not going to use the wins. We can let the evens go. We may or may not be able to use the dragons. So this is what we have to work with. That's it. So let's break out the BAMs and a wind. Here we go. We got a nine. So we'll just keep it and keep going. Let's pass a two with an eight and a north. That's going to a different person. It's going across. We got another nine. Okay, and here's another dragon. And we have tiles we can pass right here. We're just hoarding odds. No keepers, no keepers. Let's do three, six west. Oh, we got a five dot. That's an odd. And we have a pair of fours. So we need to let something go now. We have seven, nine, one, five, nine, seven, seven, nine, dragon. We have a gap, no five, but sometimes you might be forced to do that. Let's see here, seven, nine, Hmm. We need one tile to pass. Let's let the one go. This will be a little bit risky, actually. But it looks like we have more big odds than we do little or all one, three, five, seven, nine. So let's do these three. Oh, <laughs> we got evens. Okay, so. I would just pass those on. We got a one dot. Ooh, here's the dragon though. Okay, so now we have one, four, four. Flower. 
seven, nine. We have a gap, no five. Seven, nine. Let's see here. I suppose we could pass that. It would be a little bit risky. I don't think we're going to get anything here. Oh, we got, oh, look, we got odds. Okay. One, three, one, three, seven, nine, no five. One, three, five. Oh my gosh, we have a hand. One, three, five, seven, nine. Or we could maybe do five, seven, nine dragon. So it looks like these can go. That wasn't too bad. We're playing either weak or a gap hand. But either way, we have fodder for odds. American Mahjong is a very flexible game, so you can make just about anything work with the right decisions at the right time. When you first get your dealt hand, look at the categories that have been pre-selected and then focus on one of those categories that will allow you to use most of your tiles. That will maximize your winning potential. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.